Someone give me a cookie, please. I'm doing good. Okay, so here is the plot for Space Invaders. The plot of the game is simple. Aliens are invading Earth, and it is your job to defend your home planet from three types of descending invaders before they destroy you or touch the ground. That's it. Space Invaders' story is actually pretty impressive for the time. The fact that the game had story at all, and I'm gonna get better at editing. I seriously need an editor, but I also am not making money to pay for an editor. So I've kind of hit a roadblock there. I want an editor, but at the same time, realistically, that ain't happening. So Space Invaders came out in 1978. It was created by, actually, uh, let me look this up real quick. Cause this is, this is sort of like a love letter to all these games and their developers. Like I said, like, you know, they work hard on these games. Even if they were made back then, it still took a lot of time. Space Invaders was was released by Taito. Um, and this is around Star Wars' popularity. So, of course, they released the game and were inspired by the breakout success of Star Wars and War of Worlds. So, Star Wars is kind of like, you know, it was sort of the basis for why they wanted to do this. They're like, oh, people like Star Wars, people like space. Let's make a game where aliens are trying to invade uh, Earth. Okay, enough talk. Sp space invaders, let's get into it. Player one. So, like I said before, there's not really a way to beat this game. I mean, you kind of just play until you die. And there's not even, like, level progression, like a, sh like a game like Donkey Kong or... Um, hell, later on, there are... Arcade games get a lot more sophisticated, but right now it's nothing too crazy. This game is kind of, is, it is addicting though. I was playing this game with Rabbit uh, yesterday just to make sure it was working to test it out. Man, she was getting pissed. Like when I say she was getting pissed, she was getting like, like, oh Jesus. Ah! Ah! The, the fucking spaceship, dude. I hate that thing though. That is easily worst thing they added in this game was that spaceship man i hate that thing does that hurt your guys ears too oh there we go there we go yeah we're killing all these aliens you're trying to invade our planet i don't think so baby Ugh, kill that thing hell yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah give me this give me this give me this Give me this! Give me this! Give me this! No! Fuck! I was trying to go no kills on that. No. Woo! First aliens down! Can I get a clap for that? So that's Space Invaders. I basically beat it. <laughs> Technically, I beat it. Technically. Uh, technically, that is a complete run. And I killed the UFO, so I'm happy about that. Now, they just make it harder by giving you more aliens to kill. And them shooting more frequently. Ah! That is so... Ah! It's so disorienting, dude. I hate that thing. And I'm sure they made it loud because in the actual arcade, they want people to be like, um... You know, hear what's going on. Why did what, what was that? Oh, I got a new life. Hell yeah. I am playing with the arcade with the Atari controller, which is the closest I can get to the arcade feel. Kill it! Kill it! Thank you! Oh shit! Oh, that alien got close. Ah Damn. Ah! Uh, so that was Space Invaders, pretty much. <laughs> that was pretty much Space Invaders right there. Game beaten. That's gonna be like a five minute video on YouTube, but oh well. There we go, game beaten. What do I think of Space Invaders? At the time, I can fully on understand why this game took off. One, if you watch Star Wars, you'll be in the mood to play this guaranteed because you're gonna be like oh space lasers the 
even the the army like the little i'm assuming is like a tank or like a turret gun even that kind of sounds like a pee pee like a like a laser beam kind of thing it's very loud so if you're playing that at like i don't know an arcade somewhere people are gonna hear that. especially that ufo dude they're gonna hear that they're someone's gonna be like what the fuck is what is that loud like beeping i'm hearing and then you're gonna look and you're gonna be like oh it's a little game where you move around and shoot so and pixels wise it's actually good i would give it pretty good grades on uh for the time how they have different aliens and how you know they're kind of moving i mean they're showing some semblance of animation which is sort of like pretty good um i'm not surprised it got so big though i give space invaders i still don't know what kind of ranking i'm gonna do it's i'm not surprised it took off though um as of playing it today it's still very addicting so it holds up well if you play i challenge you guys play space invaders and try to beat uh beat the two first levels it's addicting you're gonna want to keep trying over and over and i played it with rabbit yesterday and she couldn't stop so um you can do a one out of ten but i don't want to do that though <laughs> i see you guys doing pew pews in the chat but yeah space invaders holds up well i'm not surprised it took off so well i uh should we just do stars i'll give it five stars in terms of to in terms of like if it if it works still today five stars back then five stars i can easily see why that took off space invaders is done thank you if you're watching this on youtube please subscribe please like please comment and share all the youtube stuff uh, I am streaming this on Twitch, so if you want to be in the chat and appear on the video, just go to my Twitch link, and you can easily find me there and watch it live. Um, that's about it, though. Yeah, subscribe, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. The next one, we're playing Pack Daddy, so stay tuned for that. But all right. Bye!